In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Kai Soto and his low post basketball moves. So in this first move, it is very similar to a Hakeem Olajuwon type of move. So what he does is a quick dribble post up and then he hops. When he hops, he has his legs totally spread wide apart. He actually has both of his feet wider apart than his defenders. And this is actually a very good strategy. For one, he does take a quick fake towards that left side, which then gets that defender to then take a quick step towards that direction to try and block that shot. Because when you do this move, when you do a quick hop and you land on both feet at the same time, you you could turn and do a quick baby hook or you could turn back the other way and then do a quick hook shot as he does here. This is a fantastic move and why I think Kai Soto is going to be an amazing NBA player. In this next clip we have a quick up and under shot fake and of course anytime you can do it up and under that is a fantastic move. It was one of my favorite moves back when I was a low post player but what he gets here is a quick inbounds pass from the baseline. He receives that pass and then he does a quick pivot on his right foot. He then takes that shot fake, of course the camera then does a quick zoom in, and then he's able to then step through and then finish with his right hand. Did you know that Kai Soto, this guy right here, Kai Soto is actually a right-handed player, but he shoots left because he is ambidextrous, but he is also able to finish with both arms around the rim. In this next clip, what we see is a quick turnaround baby hook, and the nice thing about this is it's so fast. He also adds in that quick, right there, the quick ball fake out towards that right side when he does that turn, that should get that defender just far enough away so that he can put up that baby hook. This next clip is of him in the low post in the American high school and he does a quick spin. He gets that ball, really quick spin dribble and doesn't even dribble a second time. Spin dribble right hand, collects with his right right a uh, left right and then finishes with his right around the rim this is what's so deadly about kai he can finish with both hands like i was saying here's another clip he receives that ball quick shoulder right fake and then goes up with the baby hook this is hakeem olajuwon dream shake style moves and how you would do this is when you receive that ball, as soon as you get your feet landed on that ground, you do that right shoulder fake, and then you turn and pivot with your left foot up with the baby hook. Now how you can do this to be even more effective is if you're going in this direction to catch that ball, because your defender is also going in that direction, his momentum is automatically going to be bringing him towards that right side. And because of this, you can use that momentum to your favor, turn back the opposite direction. He is totally lost and you can just go up with a nice baby hook. This is another nice move. So he was so he was getting front faced by his defender in this next move. The pass goes over over top of the defender now what you can do if you're being front faced and that ball does go a little bit past where you wanted it to go and this defender has now caught up and is now defending you pretty well what you can do is on the on the right side is plant that left foot as we see here quick shot fake you haven't dribbled yet you can take one more dribble and then you can go up for your left handed hook shot. Now how he gets this left handed hook shot is by landing on that right foot first. This is all about footwork. He lands on that right foot which is extremely important because now that's going to allow you to push up even faster and harder into your jump so that now you can of course finish with that baby hook. This is an absolute fantastic move by Kai Soto. So if you're driving right or left, it doesn't really matter, but let's say you're driving right. You can do a quick shot fake and then you can use your right foot as a pivot. You can do a quick shot fake again 
Now you've done two shot fakes. You've got this player moving in this direction, he lands, you do another shot fake, he's moving in this direction, he's trying to stop you and he just can't. At that point, you want to do what's called a step through. And you want to do a step through towards the player, especially if you're taller than that player. Why is this important? Well, by doing a step through into that defender, if he makes contact, and of course, you want to go up with two hands up until the last second, because if he makes contact, you're going to be losing the ball if you only have one hand. But if you can have two hands on the ball, like we see here, by having those two hands on that ball when you do that quick step through or jump through or whatever you want to call it, and when you do that, you can get a lot of fouls. This is another pro level move. This is a face up mid range or mid post move. He does a quick shot fake and then he then does a couple of dribbles towards and back down, backs down his defender. He then goes, takes that last dribble and he can go right left. Remember, just like a regular layup, but he's going right left into the middle of the key and finishes with a right handed hook. This is a pro level move. These are all moves that if you were to go and search up Hakeem Olajuwon mid post or low post dream shake type moves, these are the moves that you would be seeing. Here's another Hakeem Olajuwon style move. Shot fake, get that player up into the air, quick one dribble towards that left side in this case, towards the middle of the court. Quick pivot left, that gets that player up into the air or at least moved over towards this left side which then allows you to turn around and you can normally take that shot but if you've got a good defender on you like we have number 33 white he seems to be a pretty solid defender if you do one more shot fake he's already off of his balance and to set in that secondary ball fake you can then do a quick step through get that foul and one so we actually seen a very similar move to this earlier on, but I really like this one. This adds an extra hitch into the moves. And what we have here is a quick spin, as we seen earlier, spin baseline, and then before he finished with that reverse. But this time, he does a quick one-handed ball fake towards the net. That defender falls for it, and then he's able to finish with a right-handed baby hook. These are all great moves. So if you are a low post or mid post player right now, I want you to either save these video clips or what I want you to do is to take your iPad or whatever you have to the basketball court, watch these moves and try to imitate them yourself on the court and practice those moves over and over and over again so that when you get into game, these moves become second nature and you can do them against your defenders. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.